Okay, Michael walks 10 meter north, 3 meter west, uh, 5 meter south, uh, 12 meter east, and then stops to catch his breath. What is the magnitude of his displacement from his original point? Okay, what we can see here, uh, this is actually um, a resultant displacement. Uh, what's the total, or we can say total displacement from original point? Okay, and uh, what is actually north, west, south, east? North, west, south, east. Okay, uh, we must know the directions. Okay, um, okay let me uh, write it out again. Uh, we know this is the north, uh, this is the east. Uh, this is the south, this is the west, okay? Uh, north, east, south, west. So, now let us draw out how how the Michael walks, okay? How, how the Michael walks. Okay, uh, let us draw it out. So, he say uh, 10 meter north. Uh, 10 meter north, that means uh, go 10 meter. Okay, 10 meter north. And then uh, 3 meter west, that means go to the... Uh, look at this one lah, uh, yeah? 3 meter west means this direction. Uh, sorry. Uh, 3 meter. 3 meter west. And then 5 meter south. 5 meter south go down. Uh, 5 meter. And then 12 meter east. Oh, 12 meter east. That means um, uh, to, 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 the right, to the right. Uh, this is 12 meter east. Okay? Uh, so, now... Uh, how do we find the uh, total displacement? Uh, total displacement. What we can see here is, uh, this is the original point. Okay, this is the original point, and this is the final point. Uh, this is what it means by displacement. All right. Uh, displacements means the shortest distance between original and final point. Uh, that's the displacement. Okay, uh, this is the displacement, the total displacement. We can say this is the total S, total S. Lah. Okay, uh, uh, maybe we, uh, and uh, we can say this 10 meter just now, this is S1. Uh, this 3 meter is S2. Uh, this 5 meter is S3. And this 12 meter is S4. Okay, uh, so now, okay, so we got the diagram already. Okay, so just drag it over here. Now, how to find the total displacement of all uh, these four uh, direction? Okay, how to find? Okay, so... Um, Alright, hold on a second. Alright, so to find the total displacement, uh, uh, we cannot draw graphically. Okay, uh, so uh, what we do to find the total displacement, well, we treat this S1, S2, S3, S4, they are uh, as vectors. They are all vectors. So to find the total displacement of all these four vectors, we, we make it all into a vector diagram. Uh, all start from the same point. Uh, yeah, here. So just draw your S1 over here. Sorry. Uh, this is your S1. Okay. Uh, which is um, 10 meter and then you have your S2 S2 is uh, going to the west uh, this is your S2 sorry uh, S2 and then your S3 going downward uh, 5 meter and then S4 uh, this is S4, which is uh, 12 meter. Uh, okay, so now you have uh, all the four vectors here. Find the total displacement. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. So now how to find the total displacement? So uh, you need to find, you need to uh, add up the, you know, this, here you have two components. Yeah, as we can see here, we have X component and Y component. You have to total up the X component, total up the Y component, uh, then you only can find the, uh, use Pythagoras theorem to find the total displacement. Uh, okay, let me draw out the table for you. Uh, actually, 
not necessary you need a table yeah because this is you, you don't need to resolve uh, it into x and y component all these vectors already in the x and y component you can just add, add, add them up yeah okay so look at uh, how we do it yeah uh, so uh, total sx is equal to okay you know the direction you must put positive negative sign to show uh, the direction uh, so be careful huh? so in the x component going to the right is positive going to the left negative y component going up is positive going down is negative uh, okay and then uh, what else okay so now uh, we can add up yeah we can add up the vectors so um, for in x component we have s2 and s4 s2 is negative s4 is positive so we can just write uh, it is a uh, positive 12 okay and then um, negative 3 uh, because uh, this is going to the right this is going to the left uh, so the positive negative sign actually shows the direction so uh, that's why we have a positive 9 meter okay positive 9 meter and then how about our sy uh, what is the total sy component okay so now in the y components okay in the y components we have um, okay so in the y component we have uh, the s1 and s3 s1 is positive s3 is negative so okay okay let's write let's write it so uh, positive 10 going up and then uh, negative 5 because going down uh, so we end up we have a positive 5 meter ah so this is our resultant in x component re and then resultant in y component but our resultant in x component is going to the right uh, because positive uh, yeah positive and then our y component is going up because positive also uh, so let's draw out the our uh, resultant x resultant y so our resultant x is positive 9 uh, our resultant y is uh, positive 5 uh, okay uh, so now we can find the uh, the result the total displacement uh, the total displacement okay and this is the direction angle theta so this is our uh, resultant displacement so very simple just Pythagoras theorem you see uh, just Pythagoras theorem, uh, our you know Pythagoras the our total sx uh, square plus uh, total sy square. Ah, so what do we get? What do we get? Ah, huh? so nine square plus um uh, okay, hold on a second. Okay, so we got our answer uh ten point uh two um actually is a two nine uh okay. 10.3 uh, uh, this is our total displacement yeah 10.3 meter uh, this is the magnitude uh, and then the direction also we need to find because again uh, I want to emphasize is uh, this displacement you know this displacement is a vector although he doesn't uh, oh the question explicitly just want the magnitude uh, so you just give the magnitude enough yeah it doesn't uh, talk about the direction so if the question just uh, need uh, magnitude then you just uh, give the magnitude uh, so I got the magnitude uh, uh, this is you actually need to put a modular sign to show this is the magnitude uh, this is the magnitude of this this total displacement is 10.3 meter so uh, 10.3 meter correct okay uh, you don't need to give the direction uh, unless the question just say what is the displacement uh, what is the displacement then only you need to give uh, both you need to give both magnitude and direction uh, if not you, if you didn't give direction you will lose mark but if, since this question just asked about what is the magnitude uh, only uh, so you just only give the magnitude okay uh, even but if you give also the direction we also won't deduct your mark okay that is just uh, some uh, bonus only yeah uh, okay so that's all for this question thank you that's okay another thing is um yeah what you get from here this one this total displacement is actually uh this displacement uh what you draw from here uh, so we got this 10 10.3 meter so what we can say uh over here uh this one uh this value will be equal to 10.3 meter also uh in this direction from original to final point that is the 
what you calculated from this vector diagram uh, yeah, to find the total x and total y and then finally the resultant displacement 10.3 meter from Pythagoras theorem this 10.3 meter is actually uh, after you draw this one go up go left go down go right uh, this one from original to final point uh, this, uh, this distance here is actually 10.3 meter that is what it means okay uh, have fun